Hello, welcome to Don't Forget to Read the Instructions. I'm your host, Leroy Harris, Programming Librarian here at the New Ohm Public Library. Don't Forget to Read the Instructions is the show in which I teach my fellow librarians and some guests how to play some tabletop games. But what are tabletop games? Well, pretty much any game you could play on the table, or the floor, or anywhere you want, really. But they usually involve a board, cards, dice, pen and paper, a whole bunch of different things. And you'll get to see those as we go through the series. Special thanks to NewCat for making this series possible. And if you like any of the games that you see on the show, you can always check them out from the library as well. We hope you enjoy this episode. Of Don't forget to read the instructions. Today on Don't Forget to Read the Instructions, we're going to play a fun game called Fiction. It's kind of like Wordle, in which uh, players are trying to guess a five-letter word. But there's a couple added twists. Twist number one is the word is chosen from a classic work of English uh, literature here. So we've got uh, Wizard of Oz, Great Gatsby, A Christmas Carol, Little Women, uh, Treasure Island, Pride and Prejudice, Moby Dick, and A Study in Scarlet. Uh, and on each of these pages, there's uh, on each of these cards, I should say, there's a page from the book with words highlighted that can be selected by one person who is against the other players. Now, as the other players are trying to guess the words selected by this person, this person will give them clues, just like in Wordle, in which they can say, it's not in the word, it's in the word but in the wrong spot, or that's the right letter in the right place. However, each guess that the other players make the person who selected the word gets to tell a lie about one of those clues. Now, to counteract that, the players have a limited number of fact or fiction tokens to see if one of the clues in a guess is accurate or not. And so they have 10 guesses over the course of two 10-minute segments. Let's see how it goes. Back to don't forget to read the instructions. Today we're going to play uh, a fun game that uh, we just got into our collection. It's called Fiction. Right? This will be fun. Uh, have any of you played or are familiar with Wordle? Yes. Yes. Yep. Okay. I'm terrible at Wordle. That's okay. You'll be great at this. Um, <laughs> so instead of a computer generating some random word to go with, uh, in this game you get to work together collaboratively against one person. I'll take the villain role this time because they do the most work, I guess. Um, and you know the rules, which is helpful. <laughs> <laughs> right? Um, and so uh, we have here some works of classic literature, English literature here. Uh, the Wonderful Wizard of Oz, uh, A Christmas Carol, Treasure Island, A Study in Scarlet, uh, The Great Gatsby, Little Women, Moby Dick, and Pride and Prejudice. And on the back of each of these cards is an actual page from that book. Okay. Uh, and so it has the text, and there are certain words that are highlighted. Uh, and the, the regular words that we can use are highlighted in yellow. The more difficult ones are in red. So we're gonna, do, we're gonna start with yellow, of course, right? Um, How kind but, of you. Uh, it's because, because the red words can have double letters. They can have the same letter more than once in the word. But all the yellow words, each letter in the five letter word is going to be different, okay? So, if you want to go ahead and you can pick a book for me, and then I'll pick a page and pick uh, a word on it. And what I do is I write the word up here. And then I set a timer for you guys. You have a total time limit of 10 minutes. And uh, the timer will stop, though, um, each time that you make a guess. Uh, and so when you make a guess, you guys will uh, you'll write it on here. And then I will use these tokens to tell you how you're doing. But mm. here's, here's the twist. So unlike Wordle, where it just tells you, nope, that's not in the word, it's in the right place but the wrong spot, or yep, that's the right letter in the right place, of the five clues that I put in, one of them's gonna be a lie. But you don't know which one it is. Okay. So from guess to guess, you have to try to sort through what's fact and what's fiction. Uh, to, to figure that out. And if you're having a hard time, you do, over the course of your 10 guesses, you get three of these tokens that say fact or fiction. You use a token for a particular guess on a particular letter, mm. and I have to tell you if that is correct or not. Okay. Okay. Um, 
but for each uh, each guess that you make, you eighty know, percent of the the clues will be true, and only one will be a lie. So it's sorting out. You also have this helpful tracking board here, where you can mark off letters that you've eliminated, so that you know they're not in the word, that kind of a thing. Okay. Uh, and as you make guesses, I'm going to be marking things on here uh, as far as what you do each guess to, to show, uh, for me to keep track of what's correct and what's not. Um, in other words, I have to keep track of my own lies, otherwise I'll get in trouble. <laughs> okay, so right. which book should we go with? I vote Moby Dick, because I have a snail named Moby. Okay, that's good. <laughs> it's as good a reason as any. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. It's well, a big didn't... snail. Is it, is it a garden be. snail or a water snail? No, it's, a, it's a snail in my fish tank. Okay. Is he white? He's kind of like yellowy white. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> so I'm just gonna. And and as you can see, there are lots of words to pick from on each page, okay. and so you're you're given plenty of things to go with. So I'm just gonna go ahead and go with that one right there. Plus, it's one of the books I've actually read from the choices. <laughs> <laughs> you're killing me, small. Okay. Ah, it's a good one. Um, <laughs> The question is, is, do I want words that have very common letters or words that have uncommon letters, right? Um, I think I will, go with, I will go with that word right there. Okay, so I'm gonna write that on my little sheet here. <laughs> I think the first guess has to be whale, right? <laughs> <laughs> He scribbles it out. <laughs> I don't think that was on the page, actually, so... <laughs> Dang it! Is that a truth or is that a lie? <laughs> okay, uh, so let me get our timer set here. So, timer, 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 there we go. It's gotta and be five letter words. <laughs> ten minutes on the clock, and so you can start discussing and thinking about what you'd like your first guess to be, and then you write the guess here and set it out, and I will then stop the clock from there. So go ahead. My strategy when I play Wordle is to focus on the Wheel of Fortune letters. Mm. Uh, See, I said and e. Wheel of Fortune. Um, <laughs> oh. So I was, I was thinking something like with a lot of those letters. Hmm. Um, I was thinking Stark. Stark? Stark I'm a big Game of Thrones fan, so let's go with it. Okay. <laughs> Stark is not bad. I got nothing. I'm terrible. <laughs> <laughs> All right. She's I'm learning about Wordle right now. I'm a Siri, audio that. person, and after that, it's just a guess in the dark. So, <laughs> all right. So, if that's your guess, go ahead and, and write it out on the on the card there. Okay. I think that's a good guess. Nice work. Yep. Pull it off yeah, there. Oh, there. There you go. There you yep. Go. Yeah, it's a it's a nice fine tip marker, which is which is nice. Where do I put this so it can be seen? Do you want it? Put it like right here ish. Got the camera up there and the one over here is in. Okay, all right, so I pause that. Let's see. Okay. See, I bet, I bet the S is right. Ooh. Wrong. What does yellow mean again? Yellow it's, means the letter is in the word, but it's in the wrong spot. Okay. And one of these is a lie. Okay. All right, so. Hmm. No, I'm all right. No, I'm stuck. <laughs> I can't just, like, throw letters in. I'm and here I've got little marks that I'm supposed to use. Okay, to tell me which is which. Okay. So, uh, and I will go ahead and I will... Resume. So you can use your marker to mark off things if you think you can go with that. So there's no T or K in it. Or there could be, but he's a liar. <laughs> T or K are out. And S is here. That's a really terrible S. Ignore me. No, I'm mean, just bad. <laughs> so bad. Uh, okay. But he could also be a liar. So the S could just not be there. Or it could be somewhere else. S words that are five letters long. And slightly depressing. Well, yeah, Moby Dick. <laughs> yeah, it's not a very cheerful book. No, <laughs> no, it's not. But based on a true story. I mean, that makes which sense. Is the, and the true story is even cooler than the book, 
So. Oh. Yes. No, I'm, I'm <laughs> shit struggling here. Like, so there's not double letters. There's either. no double so letters, like, right? So each, shoot is out because there's yep. two O's. Each letter will only be used um, once. Yeah. Well, if we go by what he says, S A R are letters in the word, mm -hmm. and it begins with. Do you want to shift the A to after the S? Sorry. Uh, swirl? Is that too hard? What are some other common letters we could try and grab? Okay. Like, well, uh, H. N. N. H. N is good. Snare. E. Yes. Yeah, but then the A and the R are in the same spot. True. Um. But then we need to get the E on there, so maybe let's see if there's an E. True. How many? But there's already an A, so we have one vowel. Is okay. it likely to be two vowels in a five-letter word? Could. could yeah, be. it's could very be, possible. Yeah. What about scar? No. Scare. Scare? Do you want to try any? Yeah, but the A and the R are again in the same space. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, it's yeah. worth throwing it on there just to get the more letters. And we see the C and the E, which are pretty common. So. Mm hmm. What about so share then? Because then we get an H instead of the. Let's do that. Share? Okay. Sounds good. Okay. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, 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 you, yeah, you. I've got. We'll keep the slightly same. better. <laughs> As he <laughs> destroys the mark. Yeah. <laughs> Game over. Yeah. Anyone has better handwriting than me, so. <laughs> okay. So pausing that. So share. So. Again, we're making it easy for him to keep track of his lies, though. True. So there's no uh, E or H. No, hold on, hold on. Getting that, getting that. Just gotta think about his lies. Mm -hmm. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. <laughs> okay. Okay. So, so we've the got the E at the end is a lie. <laughs> oh, maybe. It's just that. Okay. Unless you uh, thought ahead about his lie and made sure. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna say I think the E is a lie. All right. Okay. Yeah. Because first of all, how many? I mean, there's only a handful that are going to end with E. I think the E's a lie. Okay. Well, let's assume Remember, it's you could not. Try, you could try to verify it. assume it's not. Course. You could yeah. try to verify it, of course. What if the T is a lie? So we could put the fact or fiction down there, right? What if What if the word is stare? But then A and R. So like, you can't lie that many times. Like, right, like, stare, right, like right, a right, step right. stare? Yeah, that still wouldn't work. Still wouldn't work. Oh, okay. Because he's lied work. too many times. So. Yep. Yeah, yeah, I can only lie once per guess. <laughs> which which actually is, is, is harder than I thought. So So what, do we think that the E is What right about there? spare? S-P-A-I-R. S-P-A-I-R. I don't think that... Oh. I don't think that would contradict any of the... Except the A's. Because he can lie... He can lie he, about the He can lie an additional time each time, right? Um, or one well, time no, if total we'll, rounds. I, one time per guess, I can lie. Right. Okay. And so, so it can, could be the same lie. Right. Mm -hmm. or, it could be different. or it could be a different lie. Meaning A could be... Because we thought he was lying about either the A or the R before. True. It's a lot of psychology could be lying about in this the S, game. It is. He could be <laughs> lying about the S. He could be. I mean, he could be lying about anything. <laughs> Throw one of these fact or fictions down. Let's see what we can right. lie on. Which, which one? Which, which one? one? I want to know. I'm going to check the S. I'm, I'm already now. <laughs> I don't know. I feel confident with the S. I do too. All right. I think we should check on the A or the R. Yeah. Okay. Um, maybe the R. Okay. Yeah, R? I'm good. We'll check on the R. R okay. That is fact. I'm liking spare.
I don't feel confident about that E. The way you put it down makes me think he's lying. <laughs> so spare, like spare SP. A R E. <coughs> sure, I don't know. No, because then the no. R is. Because that's not. Because then you're just seeing if it's a P. Is that worth it? I don't know. What yeah. else we got? Because now you know the R is in, the R is in the word, but it's not, not in that place. Stephen, okay. you're the wordle genius. Get in here. <laughs> <laughs> it's different when you have a computer. I know. Yeah, <laughs> exactly, right? Um. I'm notoriously bad at spelling, so this is not helping. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> it's not at Wordle. God. So if we put the R, either it would go after the S or at the very end. I think that's the most likely places. I would think. So it's either straight, and that's not really common. No. So I, I would put the R at the end. Um, and then we still have that A potentially in the wrong place, but that could be a lie. Um, I'm thinking. There's definitely some vocabulary spelling stuff like Scrabble, but then there's also this element of uh, those social intrigue games, right? Mm -hmm. Where you're all trying to, to figure out where the deception is. Ah! <laughs> um, poop. Is there anything you can else you can okay you did mark off the H there. Okay. Alright. Yeah. Um, I mean I don't think we're gonna get in the third try. So if we can just try to get more letters yeah, onto the board, that's probably the best thing that we can try to what, do. What do you got? Okay. We got a minute and a half left here. Yeah, okay. <laughs> well there there are, there are two ten minute timers actually. So. Okay. So, Oof. so what other letter would we like to try to get out there? I think you know, we still don't have the N. Um, so if we can try to put N in there somehow. So if there's an R there, it needs to have a vowel next to it. Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, and if it's not the A, it could be the E or the I. Um, so we're gonna try one of those or O. Yes. Um, in the middle. So. W O. There's already two vowels in it, right? What do we want to go with, I or O or? E? What, what, is there anything that ends in ER? So, let's put E here. R at the end. S at the beginning. S at the beginning. And then, um, A. A has to go here. And then, um, Sailor? Is that a word? No, no. Not, no. it's six letters. Not spelled that way. A v. Put a V in the middle. Ooh, Saber. Saber. There you go. Okay. All right. So that's our first 10 minute timer. You got three out of your five <laughs> guesses done. <laughs> okay. All right. So. Um, okay. V, I guess. Okay, that doesn't make any sense. Okay. <laughs> so, so wait. Uh, can we check on the S at this point? We, I should at this point. Yeah, can we? Let's check that. <laughs> ah! <laughs> knew it! You're trolling us! <laughs> but the question is, is it's fiction that that is the right letter in the right place, but does it mean that it's not in the word at all? Or is it in the wrong place? Oh, okay. <laughs> is that another question we can ask? Um, the next let, round, let me perhaps? double check how it goes. Um, okay, have before make, they may choose to use one. Honestly, places the fact fiction talks your next letter with the. So that means center. it's got an A in. So e it's not R. an honest clue. That's all I have to say. So. Okay, so we don't know about the S right now, but we can know that the R is not at the end, and it's not the second 
Uh, it, it could either be in the middle or the probably at the start yeah. or maybe the second. It's in the first three. Well, let's get rid of the V off of here first. And so we can get rid of this S too. I know that's not there. Oh, no. So that means E is at the end. Because he was okay. lying about that the whole time. Okay. E. E is at the end. E is definitely at Let's the see end. This here. Which means that the R is either the second to last or the first. No, R can't be the second. R can't be the last. Oh, you're right. It can't be yeah. the second to last because he didn't lie. So it's got to be the first letter. I think so. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. R. Which means that the A probably has to come. No, because it can't come next. Where's the A going to be? Yeah. Oh. Ooh. It can't be in there. Or it's going to be A E. How many words end with A E? Not many. That are five not letters long? Not many. Yeah. Most of those are six letters. So it's going to. Maybe the E has to be here then. Okay. Oh, hell. But how can that be? If this is a lie, then that couldn't be a lie. You're right. That's what has to be at the end. E has to be Dang at the end. Dang it. <laughs> Um, yeah. So the A is not here or here or here. Is so the A the first letter? Could be. Okay. Then we put the R at the end. Where are we, where are we left then? Like what's what the possibilities then? R A R, R can be here. At, yeah. Okay. And then what else do we have for sure? That's it. That's all we have for sure. Art G U E C or R U. Oh, there you go. That, that's not a bad word. Okay. okay. All right. So pausing the timer again. Okay. R Q. Here we go. Just so. all of the vowels. <laughs> Then again, we do have the S could still be in there. The R could also not be there. Why is that? Because he could be a liar. Oh, liar. <laughs> <laughs> um, because we've eliminated his previous lie that he's been lying about. This is ten times harder than one. Uh, right? <laughs> it, it, it's a good thing you've got a team, right? God. <laughs> All right. Um, All right. So no. So let's G, get rid of the G and no the U first U. of all. Because I doubt he'd lie about that. The R is in the right place according to whether he's lying or not. So let's just assume those are correct right now. Okay. And um, the A would have to be in the middle. No, it can't be. It's not in the middle because it's... It'd have to be... It can't be there. A. Are you lying about the A? Should we ask? <laughs> I mean, yes. Honestly, we might have to ask because otherwise, it's at the where end. Where does it go? Yeah. Look, we're gonna check on the A. You're gonna check on the A? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, false? so it is there then. Okay. So. Which means the other two are right. Which means we just have to figure out what other words. I love logic games. A R. <laughs> <laughs> what about arch? No, that's. Uh, it can have an E. It does. Especially because okay. we're looking at Moby Dick, which is right. 19th well, century. Right? Yeah, that's C or H. True, and they're very common. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm not confident in it, but maybe. <laughs> I was way more confident in argue. It's a common one. <laughs> I thought you had it. Yeah. yeah. Remember, one of these is a lie now. I don't think C is an N or H is in it, because one of these is a lie. Well, you already you already knew that that this is true, right? Which makes it really difficult for me at this point. <laughs> <laughs> oh wait, yeah, because we knew H wasn't there. What are we doing? Oh yeah, okay. I do that all the time when I'm playing. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Um, so 
C's probably not in it either. Because he, it's the only lie he could make, he could tell is that okay. it's maybe in it. Okay. So A, R, and E. So let's eliminate C. And H has and been eliminated. H has already been eliminated. Yeah, just, okay. Let's go like. Does it have to be English? <laughs> <laughs> it just has to be in the book and highlighted. Army. Oh. But know. it is not a proper noun, right? Is there a character named Army? <laughs> no, no, no. Yeah, it's no, no names. No okay. Names. A lot of them are either verbs or adjectives, but there are some nouns. So have you used an N yet? An N? Yeah. No. <laughs> I'm glad it's only a five-letter word because if it was longer, longer, it'd be impossible for you guys. Yeah. Uh, we got A R E. Let's put that down. Okay. All right. A R E. All right. What do we got? <laughs> And at this point, there will be people walking, watching the episode shouting out yeah. words, right? right? <laughs> because they're like, it's this word! <laughs> An I here, and then what would, would there be any word? I here. I don't think so. So it can't be I either. Um, <laughs> what are some common like constants for E at the end? Like L, D. A road? I know, that's a. That a road e? starts with an E. Yeah. Oh, yeah. uh, yeah. true. Um, a rose. <gasps> mm -hmm. Go for it. Yep. Wait a minute. Yes, go for it because the S could still be in there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Could be. Could be. Now, if we get it right, do you have an opportunity to lie about us getting it right? That's a good question. Let me double check. check. Do you absolutely <laughs> have to say yes, that's right? We don't have any more fact or fiction tokens, so there's nothing we can I do know. about okay, it. No, I, I, uh, no if, if you get the word correct, that it's, it's correct. I don't get okay. to lie about it, unfortunately. Okay. <laughs> I mean, he could be lying, but we'll just I'm gonna, go I'm gonna say it. I think he's lying. But you don't have any tokens left. And say, arise. Arise, Ooh. I like it. Yeah. Good job. I mean, I'm probably wrong, but well, I, I, we, I, at this point I feel like we're any, out of I mean, options, yeah. right? It's pretty, you know, close. Yeah. That is the word. Oh. Ah! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Because right. he's, he's only 50 50 on the line. The only letter right. he could lie about so, is. Right. Arise, leap up, and lick the sky. Oh <laughs> it's God. the line on the card. <laughs> so, nice. All right. Okay. So, what do you think? That's fun. Yeah, that was it's fun. fun. It was difficult. It's hard. It is. It's a I challenge. Mean, yeah. It definitely. definitely requires a, a team mm -hmm. to work through it. Yes. I had to, I am glad that I have this tracking sheet here. Where you know I put your guess and I mark down what was actually right and then what I told you was right, oh. um, so that I can keep track of where things are. But um, and then what did yeah. you mark to? What was your difference between marking what was actually right and what was so? Told? If if the letter is actually correct, 
Um, or if the clue that I gave was correct, then I put a check mark. Okay. And if it's incorrect, I put an X. Okay. Um, and uh, there, there's directions on how to do that here. But um, sure. I would have lost yeah. track of my lies. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Without without it, it would have been been difficult to keep track. And was that helpful at all? Did you think? Yes, definitely. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. So should we yeah, yeah. play another round? Yeah. Um, you think it'll go faster this time? I think it'll go faster this time. Does someone else want to take the the reins no. or no? no. <laughs> I think let that's me a do whole it. different yeah. skill set. <laughs> yeah. All right. Okay. So if you want to erase those while I um, which uh, which book should we go with this time? Wizard of Oz. Somebody Wizard else of Oz. Yeah. Okay. Give me some weird words. That's <laughs> true. Okay. If I can find it, here we are. Boom. There we go. I think you found my kryptonite in a game. <laughs> Spelling. It just it certainly doesn't good. help me either. <laughs> no. Okay, get all these. You've got your three tokens again. Uh, Fresh tokens. Start with those because we got two sets of five. Okay, and oh, I need to erase all these. How easily do they erase? That's another thing. Is, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, you might is. need to buy more markers if you're going to play a lot. Mm hmm. Yeah. Get some of that like whiteboard. Spray too. Yep. Yeah. yeah. And, and so these are nice and, and solidly made for, so that's good. But okay, let's pick a word here. Mm. He's picking the hardest word he can find right now. <laughs> <laughs> What's got a Z in it? What's why, got why, a Z why, in it? <laughs> why do they have the same word highlighted twice? <laughs> They really want you to pick that one. They really want you to pick that one. I'm not picking that one. Okay. Um, all right. I have a word, and the time begins. All right. Swirl. <laughs> Do it. It's got an L. It's got an S. An it's I. A good an R. Register with. Swirl. Lots of swirling happening over there in Oz. Right. <laughs> Oh, ho, ho, ho. okay. But remember, one is a lie. Yeah. Yeah, there we go. One. Okay, so, I mean, we'll just mark down what you put, and then we can change it. Yeah. Uh, no W. Y. L. Round. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep. We got the R in there. Mm -hmm. okay. Then again, he can lie twice now. Mm. Okay. So pause that again. Okay. Um. No, I, I can't lie twice. I can only lie once each guess. Yes. But there's no difficult. redundancy, really, so. Uh, you never know. Clean slate okay. to lie on. All right. So, that's see, not the right one. see, see? Clean okay. slate to lie on. <laughs> Ruse was the first word that came to my mind. Yeah. Yeah, I yeah. mean, he or routes. Well, because he, he lies, he, he could have lied about the S. So. Sure, Rude. but it's, mm -hmm. you know, definitely a possibility. So, Maybe route or ruse. Ruse. Actually, I would say route because then we get the T and the E. Okay. Oh, okay. Just in case he wasn't lying about the S. We don't want to reuse it twice, you know? Okay. So. Hmm. So. 
<laughs> if he's telling the truth, the T has to be at the end. But what word would that possibly be? <laughs> I just don't even think that's an option. Roost. Roost. S-G at the end? Is that a word? No, because it's Thank roost you. is double O. Oh, you're right. Yeah, here I am correcting your spelling, That's which is fine. just outrageous. <laughs> um, I mean, it could be some random word that has some meaning. R- roust. Roust. Yeah, I mean, but that's not a common one. I mean, we're dealing with a pretty uncommon book. True, I guess, but... It's roast. hard not to give you guys suggestions, right? <laughs> to join in and be like, well, what about this right now? I gotta keep myself quiet. So he's, well, he's lying about something. Is it time to use a token? Which letter yeah. do you need to know? Should we check on the T? I yeah. would check on the R. The R? Yeah. You get a lot more options if the R is a lie. Okay, let's. Okay. Should we check on the R? Yeah. That's my thought. Let's right. do it. Yeah. Let's do it. Knew it! Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Instincts are sharp. Okay, so that means O and U are correct. And N and D are definitely out. And that means the T is in it somewhere, because it could be at the beginning. Touch? Touch. Oh. Mm-hmm. Okay. Touch again. Yeah, definitely the second time around, you guys are, are coming up with guesses faster. Mm-hmm. I noticed that. Okay. We're getting used to it. <laughs> okay, so let's see. We got these two here. And, oh, whoop, hold on. That's the wrong one there. Okay. Um, that's there. And the, oops. What's my word again? <laughs> okay. All right. Um, you playing poker? I have to right. <laughs> completely forget where my cards are. Ah, mm-hmm. it's that one. There we go. Okay. okay. So, do we think he's lying about anything here? I mean, obviously he is. But he's obviously lying about, obviously lying about yeah, one thing. 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 Boy, oh, howdy. I'd like to say I think it's the T that's the lie, but I think it's the H. You think so? Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah, let's check the H. Okay. You want to see if that's uh, correct? If there's or not? an H in it at all. I knew it. Because there's, no there's no place for it to be. Okay. If it's not at the end. Well, if it's not at the but end, here's, or if it's here's not the, the question is it just means that this is not an accurate clue? That could be the right letter in the right place. It's not house, is it? No, it's not house. Because the E's can't can't be the E can't be a lie. It can't the E capsule cannot be there. Which is I thought of house too, but okay. then I, the E can't be there. So because the mm-hmm. S could have been a lie here, but so we don't have a C. We don't have a C. And the T's in it somewhere. Is there an H? It could be, but it, can't, it just can't be there. Well, no. It would have to be there. It would have to be there or, or not there at all. Yep. It can't be somewhere else because that's a lie. <laughs> so once we've caught it as a fiction, if we put it there again, you have to tell the truth about it, right? Yep. All right. What about pouch? Sure. We're, when we're out of the tea. Oh, when we're out of the tea. Be there. Oh. Is there anything with TH at the end? No, because he's because the T can't be there. It has to be either at the end. Wow. The end, no, the T has to be at the end. Because a T has to be at the end. So do we have oh. a word? Well, the H could be at the end. He just he could be lying about. Because it can't it not be, be here, and it can't be here. Because we caught him in a lie on both these times, yeah. so the T has to be here. Okay. All right. Trust your logic there. Well, because he lied oh, here, the T's here. It can't be there. He lied here, 
So that's the truth. So these are both true. So the TS at the end. And so then what precedes a T at the end? ST? I think that... Who uh, said there's browsed no S, earlier? But like they could have lied about that. Okay. Who so said roused earlier? I think one of us did. One of us did. Right, let's go with it. Okay. Wait. No, because the R can't be there. Remember? Because that's a fiction. Oh, okay. Joust. Joust. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Classic That's arcade cute. game. <laughs> Nicely done. That's it. That's it? Oh, oh my god! god. <laughs> yeah. All right. All right. That was good. That was good. <laughs> okay. All right. So, um, any final thoughts? That was really fun. I enjoyed that. Yeah, that was a lot of fun. Yeah. You got to the second play? Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. All right. So, that's how you play fiction. Uh, and we'll see you next time on Don't Forget to Read the Instructions. Thanks for watching this episode of Don't Forget to Read the Instructions. If you enjoyed this game, come down to the library. You can check it out from our collection. Or if uh, it's one you'd like to try yourself, you're welcome to, to purchase it wherever the game is sold. You can also, uh, if you think of a game that you're interested in that the library doesn't have, by all means, let us know. We'll see if we can add it to our collection. Again, thanks for NewCat for helping to uh, sponsor this program. And we'll see you next time on Don't Forget to Read the Instructions.